I've been told of a money-making method so mediocre it might just rival mid-game mining. We all know how farming crops like melon on the garden can get you between 12 and 15 million coins an hour. Well, what if I told you there's a way to double that? Today, we're looking at pest farming, a much sweatier version of farming that could potentially double your profits. So today, we're gonna get the necessary gear to pull this off and put to the test just how much money we can make in one hour. Real quick, go follow me on Twitch. I'll leave a link to that in the description or the pinned comment. I've been streaming some of the series live over there on twitch.tv slash toadstarzero. So if you want to join in some of the series and, uh, you know, say hi when I'm streaming, hey, just go drop me a follow. Anyways, uh, welcome to video. So the main new things that came out are in this shop over here, we have the pest vest, the brown bandana, and then a potion, which is good. I don't know if I'll use this though, uh, but I want to get these two things because they massively increase how many pests you can get. So we'll need 450 pelts, which, well, means we got to do the darn trapper minigame a bunch of times. Luckily for you guys, I've already done most of the stuff I need to for this thing, but it's taken quite a long time because, well, sometimes you just have it up here on the mountain or the oasis and it takes 10 minutes to find. And half the time it dies on its own without you even finding it. So I guess that's good. So uh, I think I need 200. Ooh, endangered animal. Wait, this is kind of exciting. These ones are worth a lot of pelts. Uh, let's see, he's in here somewhere. Where is it? I don't want it to disappear on me and make it a billion times harder to find. He is, oh, it just died again. Wow, okay. Undetected in the mountain. We only need 14 more pelts, so this won't take very long at all. All. Uh, let's see, the approximate height is very high up. Okay, that's gonna make this a lot easier actually because it can only appear, yeah, there it is. All right, that one was very, very easy. And we have a trackable one, but I'm pretty sure this is only gonna give us three pelts. Oh, it did give us four, okay, cool. So we can purchase uh, one of the items now. I think the uh, the pest vest, oh no, we need 250 for that. Uh, we need 200 for the bandana, but I don't need the bandana quite yet. So let's get the pest vest first because I'm most interested in this. So I guess let's go for another 50 real quick. And I guess I'll just do this on my own. And this is the last one we need to do for our pest vest. Looks like it's glowing mushroom cave. That can't be too bad. These are usually pretty easy. Uh, let's see where you at. There you are. Get them. All right. So that gives us 250 pelts and we can purchase the pest vest. A cloak that gives you 10 pest chance and also uh, makes it so you can get pests quicker. So I guess we'll do this. Do I have a flowering bouquet? I probably do on my island somewhere actually, to be honest. Let me see, it's probably just in like one of these uh, random chests here in the back. Yep, there's one, all right. We can go ahead and slap this on because we may as well just use this uh, the entire time we're farming. I think that's gonna be fine to do. It's also, uh, wait, where is it? That's right here. Yeah, we can also recom it to make it legendary if we want. So for farming fortune, that's fine. Uh, oh, it gives a lot less fortune than this, though. Hmm. Recalling would just give me one fortune, so I don't know if I want to do that. We'll just rock this setup for now, I think. Uh, but something I actually need, which is a little bit goofy, is I need to wait for our T-Rex to be done here. But he's actually not going to be done until tomorrow, which is annoying. But believe it or not, I need the T-Rex for farming, as stupid as that sounds. But you're just going to have to trust me. So I think in the meantime, I'm going to work on my other setup or just work on making a farm that I'm going to do. Uh, because we're gonna have to pretty much make a new farm here. And whoa, that's a lot of stuff that just happened in my garden. That's annoying. But I think what I need is I need to replace this nether wart farm with a cane farm. Which is gonna be annoying. Actually, it's not because I can just move it. Or I can just build a cane farm in uh, this empty plot, actually. That's probably gonna be easier. I don't know the design for this. I just know it has to be a two layer cane farm uh, because apparently you get more pests when you're farming cane because there's like, you know how it's like too, too tall that you break. So you're mining like twice as many crops. I'm not sure if that's like perfectly accurate, but it's also, I just want cane moss anyway. So that's gonna be fine to do. Uh, but this will help us max our pest beast here as well as make some money, which is gonna be really, really good. And I want to test this. So let me figure out how I want to build this cane farm. And I guess we'll just build this right now while I'm waiting for my T-Rex to be done. Actually, really quick, let me just go get a, a stupid bandana real quick, just so I have it. Final one, just somewhere in the oasis. There you are. All right. And that's going to give us one extra pelt. So let's go ahead and buy a brown bandana, a pet item that uh, gives you best, a better pest chance based on how much pest bestiary you finished. So we're just going to keep this for now because I need my uh, T-Rex pet for that thing. And I guess I'll get to work trying to construct this cane farm. Hold up, I was looking at a sugarcane design, but we got ourselves a vanguard here. Ooh, all right. Let's uh, stay back, make sure we don't get dunked by these mobs. And I guess let's see what we get. And goblin egg, tungsten keys, refined tungsten, and overall pretty meh. Yeah, 
I didn't expect too much from that, but we'll take it. Real quick, if you're buying anything in the Hypixel store, be sure to use code TOAD at checkout for a 5% discount if you buy ranks, gems, or fire sales. Currently, there's a fire sale going on that's definitely gonna- oh, it's already ended. Uh, if you want to pick up the next fire sale, maybe get some gems with code TOAD. Uh, join my Discord server, show some proof in the support tech that used code TOAD. You can get a special role with my server for it. It's uh, pretty cool. Just a way to give back to you guys. And uh, all right, back to building farms, I think. Okay, I've broken the game. Like, I've, I've actually broken the game. So, for whatever reason, my inventory's full right now. If I do that, the dirt comes back. If I break one, I don't pick up the dirt. If I sell it, it doesn't come back if I sell it. If I try to build out of Prismarine, it just goes away. If I buy back the dirt and then build out of anything else, it turns into dirt. If I throw stuff out of my inventory and then put stuff in these slots, it stays there. I get more dirt. If I right click my menu, everything goes back to Prismarine. I no longer have a dirt in this slot. What is my game doing? I, what? And there goes my shovel. Just lost my, can I have that back? Okay, I have it back now. What? All right, after about four hours of building, I present to you the new cane farm. Look at this thing, dude. I love how this looks. I went for more of like a, like a aqua fish tank type of look for this thing. I tried to actually make it look pretty, especially if I'm gonna be farming in here for a while. So this thing is two layers. And after you finish farming the first layer, you'll be uh, positioned, I believe like this. Uh, you'll immediately drop down into this little hallway where you can run across here. And this is a little bit of downtime, but this was the best way I could figure out how to do it. Uh, and immediately puts you into the second layer. The reason I have this hallway here is because if I just had you drop down into the next layer and start backing up, uh, you would have to like change which keys you were doing. And every time you reach the end of a row, it would be all weird and you'd have to like walk to a different part of the thing and it got really, really messy. So I figured this was probably just the cleanest way I could do that. So we have two little hallways. We have one right here and then one on the other side of this that uh, just imagine there's a second layer of cane farm. That's just it's the same thing underneath it. So I also have this layer on that top because I was told that if you make something like this, where you do like a little box or at least like a flat surface for your farm. Uh, you could have pests spawn on this. So every time you spawn a pest, it'll just land up here in this nice little net. So you can find it super, super easily and take them out as quick as you can. So I don't know, I guess I want to give this a little bit of a try here. I want to keep getting pest terminator books for uh, this set as well as for a mushroom armor set, funny enough. So I want to start working on getting as many of those as possible. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start farming here for a bit. You know what, I got some gems right now, actually. Let's just go ahead and upgrade all of this to a uh, flawless, because why not? I have the gems for it, may as well. Just upgrade every single one. Good thing we did all that mining last week because that gave us enough for all of this. There we go, one, two. And then our boots as well, there we go. Let's remove that. And I believe our cane hoe actually has requirements. Uh, oh, it's just more Peridot, okay. Uh, well, that's pretty easy to unlock. Let's just unlock that, unlock that. And then I need to make, what, four flawlesses right now? One, two, three, oh, three. And one more if it lets me click it. There we go. Okay. Now I should be able to max out Arcane over here. So there we go. And let's throw those in. There we go. Take that. And we can actually recombobulate it as well because why not? May as well go all out for a uh, sugar cane here. Please, server. The server's dying right now. That's fine though. And there we go. Mythical. And I do believe that Blessed is better than uh, Bountiful for cane because you're getting a lot less crops. That could be wrong, but it's it's probably really close anyways. And we want cane milestones. So that's fine. I don't think there's anything better than this. I only have one vacation for book. I need to get more, but we need to wait for more ravenous rhinos for that to happen. To work in five. Yep, this is as good as it can get for now. So... I guess we'll just leave it like that and we can uh, do this here, farming fortune. Um, For pet, I don't think we need mushrooms. So I don't think I need to worry about uh, our strength stat or anything. Oh, we can see that our fortune is actually, I have a bunch of pests on the island still. I got to clear these guys out. So if I grab this guy and now we can see how much fortune we actually have. We go to our stats here. We have 1,124 farming fortune. And then uh, I think I need to break a piece of cane here. There we go. To see our cane fortune is 270. So yeah. We have almost 1400 farming fortune, which I think is pretty decent. Uh, and that's without a farming pet, of course, that's with our chicken on. So we'd get a little bit more if I had a, a real pet on like a slug or a... Actually, slug doesn't even get... No, it gives fortune, yeah, if we have the sprayed plot. So uh, probably while I'm waiting for our T-Rex to be finished, I'll use slug for this. But I just want to see, you know, how much money we would get from just doing this for an hour right now with uh, 
meh exterminator levels and stuff so i guess we'll see okay so i just spawned pests i want to see if they all spawn up here or not yes they do okay perfect so this just lets me kill them really 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 easy and quickly uh hey tightly tied hay bale we'll take that uh but yeah this is basically gonna make me able to do that super fast so i can go back to farming instantly uh i guess i just really want to grind a bunch of pest exterminator books right now so i'll set my uh vacuum stereo to the buzzing one so we can get as many beetles as we can and i guess it's time to grind like 96 best books Ooh, random vanguard time let's go uh i gotta actually be a little bit careful of these guys though i don't have a drill on me uh can you kill them thank you very much much appreciated all right let's see here what are we gonna get refined mithril a bunch of mid stuff well darn at least we got a nice cold book I do believe it's time we go over here. We have three pets to claim. Oh, oh, no, we don't. We have one pet to claim and two pets in 12 hours. Well, this was the one I wanted anyways. So the T-Rex pet is the best farming pet in the game. That sounds really stupid to say, but let me explain real quick. So what we want to do is go to our garden and grab ourselves that one pet item here, the brown bandana. This will give us uh, more pest chance as our pet's base stat, based on how much uh, pest bestiary we've done. So wherever my T-Rex is, uh, there you are, okay. Uh, you can see that the last perk of this is Tyrant. Stats increased by, or granted by pet items, are basically doubled. So if I were to give my T-Rex the brown bandana you can see that he will now be giving yeah look at this 52.4 pest chance which is absolutely insane and my pest bestiary is nowhere near done so this will only get better and better and better like significantly better as i max this out now here's the real crazy part if i hold the daedalus axe we get an extra 83 which means my pest chance is now 240 and that's without spraying a plot. Let me let me spray a plot real quick here. Now we have 290 pest chance. And this is actually better than slug pet. Yes, it is just a little bit. And that's because uh, the doubling of the T-Rex pet will matter more for the mandana than the plus 40% base the uh, slug pet gets because this doesn't count for Daedalus Axe. It's a lot of math, but nonetheless, regardless, this is the best setup to get pests. So what we want to do is go into our auto pet rule and uh, when we equip our mushroom armor, which is what we're going to use to spawn pests, it'll also equip our T-Rex pet. So this way, when I just swap to mushroom, it'll automatically put the T-Rex on. And then when I put my fermento back on, if we just got a pest, it'll instantly pop out my mushroom cow pet. So we basically will uh, spawn a pest, swap to fermento for max farming fortune, kill all the pests for maximum drops, and then farm for about two minutes until the pest cooldown is ready. And then we'll immediately swap to mushroom, farm with the Daedalus Axe for just a couple seconds, which will give us less sugarcane, but will drastically increase how many pets we get. And as soon as we uh, spawn a pest, then uh, we swap back to the Fermento. So like 90% of the time we're using Fermento with cow, and then just when we're spawning pests, we use the mushroom uh, armor set with the T-Rex. And, you know, we get, we get a lot of... Uh, yeah, we get a lot of pest fortune, whatever it's called, pest chance. So yeah, this is going to be pretty insane. And trust me, once I start getting this mushroom, I want to get pest terminator on it. We're going to have so much pest chance. It's going to be absolutely absurd. So I actually have six pest terminator books already. So we just combine these into a uh, pest two books. We can put uh, three pieces of pest two on our mushroom armor already. Uh, I think I do need four to make this work the way I want it to. How much XP is this? Only nine. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll do this, we'll do this, and we'll do this right here. Um, and of course, the reason we want mushroom armor is the stats triple at night. So uh, it's, I think it's night right now. You can see that in Fermento, and my Fermento has what? Full Pest 3 right now? Yeah, full Pest 3. We get... Uh, let me go over to this plot again. The number was 290.24. But if I put on the mushroom armor, which has zero pest on the boots and three pest twos, we have 278. So it's not quite better yet, but I believe once I get uh, pest two on the full set, it'll be equal to this. And then once we get pest five, it's like the equivalent of pest 15 or something crazy. So, oh wait, is it not night anymore? Oh wait, no, look, we have 302 pest chance with our mushroom armor now. So this is actually already better than our Fermento setup, and we have only 6 out of 
20 Pesterminator levels. So yeah, this is gonna get crazy, but I need more Pesterminator books. Okay, now I can go over and grab these two pets. There we go. Throw those in our pet menu for some free Skyblock XP. That was actually a lot of Skyblock XP. Wow. Um, And I could put three more pets in. I think I'm only going to do one, though, because I'm trying to max my owl pet here. Uh, I don't. I, I still don't quite understand how this thing works. Oh, it looks like I did max the uh, the discount here for the whatever thing. Or did I? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just going to put it in here. It's level 86, so I guess I'll figure out if it's going to matter or not but let's pick one more pet to level here if we just sort by pet exp um i can see if there's one that i want to upgrade let's do the tarantula pet because it has that perk that gives us more combat xp against spiders it might be useful for like doing spider slayer or something so i guess we'll just do this one here uh let's see until specific level we want level 100 of course with turbo training that's going to be 26 mil because it's already level 65 and take eight days to get there so i guess we'll do that Oh, I'm two mil short. Hold up. And there we go. Okay, I guess we'll let that sit in there for a while and it'll be ready probably next video. Oh, whoops. I actually just maxed Beetle Bestiary. That's pretty sick. So uh, we'll take that. I think that's my first Pest Bestiary that's actually maxed. I'm not too sure, but I think it is. We're almost done with Might as well. But yeah, that is our first Bestiary fully maxed out for Pests, which is pretty good. The other ones will max over time, but I'm still mostly just focused on farming beetles for Pesterminator. You know, I'm trying to get a Night Saver and a Day Saver, because apparently they made a change where you actually have to have both placed for the Night Saver to work or something like that, but this dang flower minion won't give me sunflowers. It's been like almost an hour of me just sitting here waiting for this darn thing to make sunflowers, and it's given me one. So, I'm kind of waiting for this. I can't really farm until it's done. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just stuck waiting. Oh, there we go. Now it decided to finally make sunflowers. Well, oh, okay. Now it's just making all the sunflowers. Well, let's make our day saver and go to our garden. And I do believe that we just place these down now with a night saver. Oh, do I need a day saver first? You can't place this and lock this feature in the desk menu. Maybe you have to place the day saver first? What? Garden time. Oh, okay. Set your current garden time to night. Did I even need this thing? I I don't know. I think I just wasted an hour. Well, now it's just going to be permanently night on our garden, so we should actually get the correct amount of pest chance now, and it looks like we do. 315. Okay, cool. So yeah, now it's permanently night, so our mushroom armor set will always be active, which is really good for us. So yeah, also, if you're wondering how I lowered my speed, because... uh. You know, obviously I don't have rancher boots, so I only have like, what, 320 speed, something like that? 380, but I think it's because I have the aspect of the end uh, bug. Uh, I just disabled a bunch of my potions, so yeah. I didn't know this, but yeah, it has two gemstone slots. Uh, I accidentally made three flawlesses. I don't know why I thought it had three. I literally just looked at it, uh, but I guess we'll see here. So I can throw one in instantly like that, and the other one costs 20 fine peridot. Okay, yeah, so there's no reason for me to make this extra flawless. That was just a waste of resources, but... Let me grab this, let me grab uh, you, uh, and we can unlock that, and then we'll put you in there. And that's going to give us more fortune when we're actually killing pests, because uh, fortune equals drops. It's like magic find equivalent for farming stuff. It's it's really weird, but basically more fortune is good, so uh, we'll definitely scoop that up. Okay, I actually have a bunch of Pesterminator books now, so we can upgrade all of these into Pest 2s, and upgrade our Mushroom Armor all the way into Pest 3, which is awesome. Uh, I want to try and get this to at least Pest 4. Uh, oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, okay. Uh, what does that mean for us? I guess I'm doing this. This is going to be a Pest 3 piece. This is going to be a Pest 3 piece. And I guess the boots are going to go to level 4 because I, I messed that up really good. Uh, darn it. That's not what I meant to do at all. But I guess we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, yeah. Yes, I need four more books. Oh, we maxed Moth Bestiary. Let's go. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Let's grab these two pests real quick here. And then we'll take a look at our Bestiary. Clipped Wings. Okay, that's a rare drop. Don't care about it, but, you know, we still got it. So, uh, yeah, but hey, Moth 15. There we go. That's our second Bestiary done. Two things we can do. First, I can fix my mistake. I can finally get Pest Terminator 3 on the full armor set now. There we go. Now everything is Pest 3 and One Piece has Pest 4, as it should be. So that'll be nice for pests. But what we can also do is upgrade our extra farming fortune by one. There we go. 
and it looks like I think we can upgrade it two more times in total if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to take a while to do that because it's going to be nine medals and I'm guessing 10 and then the tickets are probably going to be 450 and then 500. So we need 17 medals and 950 tickets. That's going to take some time. Yeah, definitely going to take some time, but we're firing more now. So maybe we'll get those a little bit quicker. Sugarcane 29. I think that's like the first cane milestone I've got in this whole video, which really just shows, you know, how long these garden milestones end up getting. And we're not even at the part where it gets really, really, really tedious. So, you know, that's uh, something. But uh, unfortunately, I'm getting like no pest bucks. I think I, I don't even have any yet since the uh, last clip. And it's been like 30 or 45 minutes, man. I, I don't even know. Oh, uh, there's three pests, I guess. Oh, I was to see. I, I start recording and I lose track of what my timer's at. And then I forget to uh, I forgot to armor swap, and now we are missing a one to two pests. Oh, well. We'll see if I can pull a book on this one, at least. Uh, looks like we've got some beetles, which is good, but I keep getting the nether wart drop instead of the actual one I want, the, uh, pest buck. Oh! Oh, well, that would also help if I didn't... Oh, okay, well, there's a rare drop. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to farming. I completely forgot this was a thing. Librarians can give dedication four books. Yo! I've never gotten one. I've, I got one from the Rhino that, a couple of videos ago, but I've never gotten a dedication before book from a librarian. No way! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Well, that is huge. I, I can't believe that actually just happened. And the dung just run out. That's perfect timing, actually. So I guess we'll uh, grab up all these. Uh, oh, that was, a, that was a rare moment right there. That's okay. Let's grab the rest of these. Anything new? Anything neat? Anything cool? Not really. I guess another another wart's kind of cool, but nothing really there. We do have four pest books though, so let's grab, I guess, our uh, mushroom legs here and upgrade this to pest two. This to pest two as well. Upgrade that to pest three. Combine that with the legs for pest four. There we go. It's another upgrade for that, but yeah, that's crazy. I don't know yet what I'll put the dedication for book on. Maybe it'll be for sugarcane. I'm not too sure, but I guess we'll see. I just want to point this out. Look at this guy's setup. This is an M4 setup. He's got the Skeleton Master Chestplate, Necron Legs, Maxor Boots. All of these are strawberry dyed, which is absolutely sick. Then the Diamond Thorn Head, dude, that looks so cool with uh, the equipment. I just, I love this armor set. I love that they strawberry dyed it. It looks absolutely sick. He's got the Sedan Held, dude. Oh, and the Golden Tiger. This is insane. This is actually really, really cool. I'm kind of just, you know, doing the hoppity thing, grabbing eggs, uh, nothing really interesting. I just want an excuse to put this guy's armor in the video. We've got eight more books here, so I can actually go ahead and make, uh, the full set into Pest 4, which is very exciting. Let me make sure to not mess up crafting these this time like I did last time. So we'll do this. We'll combine this to Pest 3, immediately put this on the helmet. There we go, that'll be Pest 4. And then combine this to Pest 3, boom, and put this on the chest plate. There we go. And that's going to be Pest 4 on the entire armor set right there, which is absolutely huge. I do really want to get this to Pest 5 and maybe this to Pest 4. Then I can swap over and start trying to do this for money and see how good it is. But I guess I'll be doing this for another day or two. So let's lock in. What? Yo! Einstein, that's actually one of the best ones. Dude, it's been so long since I've gotten a new rabbit. It's been like probably five hoppities, seriously. Let's go. That's like one of the best ones I could have gotten. So definitely got to keep using this time tower as much as I can. But yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with that. So I have to change plans here on what the second half of my video is going to be because they just released a bunch of patch notes for the alpha server and they're testing basically an entire rework to mining. And there's way too many changes for me to go over, but it basically redoes mining as we know it. Uh, and one of the things is the fuel tanks now have a second perk, which reduces the cooldown of your pickaxe ability. So like mining speed boost, the, the cooldown would be shorter to use. So it's really, really important I get the... um perfectly cut fuel tank, which I've been putting off because I didn't really have a use for it. Uh, also, the yellow goblin egg is going to quadruple fuel consumption instead of double, so we really need to get this thing like ASAP. Uh, the problem is, uh, they're changing the recipe. So instead of requiring um, 70 synthetic hearts, it requires 16 of every single robot part, which that's fine. That's even cheaper, actually. The bad part is it also takes, I think, a stack of plasma which uh, if we search up the uh, ghost beast here, here, it is the super rare drop from uh, ghosts. 
And getting 64 of these things would suck. So, actually, how much plasma do I have on me? Yeah, I have four. So I want to get this gemstone fuel tank now, like before they release the update. Uh, so to do that, I need to make 25 of these things, which means I need 8,000 sludge juice. So I need to do that immediately. So I've got my jungle pick and uh, I also need gems for the uh, sludge juice as well. So I'm going to go mine up the gems real quick. And I guess a powdered mining episode too. Um, I'm going to cut most of this out because I already made a video on powder mining. But uh, in case this takes me multiple days, that's where the second half of this video is going. But I'll do my best to make this really, really short. Well, we can start our first batch of these. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of sludge juice. Well, at least we have a perfect inventory of them now. One, two, uh, three, four. There we go. Just barely able to fit all this in my inventory. I guess we're starting five gemstone mixtures right now. We need 25 in total. I actually want to check my island because I may actually have some spare ones. Uh, back from when I did do nucleus runs for the Skyblock XP. Uh, I think you can get gemstone mixtures from nucleus runs. So if I have any spare, one. <laughs> Dang it. I was really hoping to come back to like 20 of these things. Oh yeah. Looks like we get one. That's, that's a bummer. That's a little bit of a bummer. That's okay though. I mean, it saves us what? 200 something sludge juice, something like that. So I guess it's not, you know, it's not awful. It's better than not having anything. I mean, is there any, anything else? No, did I miss any? No, 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 no. Oh, refined mithril. Hello, plasma, hello. Wait, maybe I should go through my island and just see if I've forgotten any like important things in these chests because that was very, very random random little thing here but if i grab this minion chicken pet level 100 and that marks the final farming minion i'm pretty sure that i need also we now almost have two pages of full level 100 pets uh so i guess i don't know i'll level up maybe the uh do i have any of these other mining xp boost i guess this turtle uh sure why not and that should be good let's go double check here 4482 two over our goal for sludge juice we have it all now that's pretty good just need to forge now, which will take about a day worth of forging gemstone mixtures, and then we get our fuel tank going. I do believe we have all of the gemstone mixtures done now, so I can finally finish this little side quest that I had to uh, do. Let's grab that. That's 25. I need what? I think I need a bunch of synthetic hearts as well, and I need to take the uh, tank off of my actual drill. So let's do that. Let's throw you up here. Grab the gemstone fuel tank. There we go. And I forgot it was 60 or 80 hearts, but I really hope it's only 60 because I'd much prefer to only be using 60. Uh, where is this perfectly cut fuel tank? I'm not seeing it. Uh, it's too early for this. Where is it? Perfectly cut fuel tank. Oh, it's 70. Okay. One day, 11 hours. Yikes. But we have to do it. We have to get this going right now, which means I'm basically not able to mine for a few days. But that's totally fine. You know, that is absolutely fine. Um, I guess we have six diamond blocks. That's just the exact amount of slots to three or five diamonds. So, you know what? Why not? Let's get these started. There we go. And yeah. So the only problem is that leaves us with an unbalanced amount of robot parts. We only have 98 synthetic hearts, but that's not too far off like our super light motors and stuff, but you know, it's, it's whatever. So I guess we'll just have to deal with that. But uh, yeah, anyways, now we can go back to farming, which is the actual point of this video. So... What was I even doing? I, I literally forgot what entirely what I was doing. Um, it was something that was like Pesterminator, right? I was getting all the Pesterminator books. One, two, I think we have uh, three right now. We have four. Okay, okay. We need to get eight to upgrade these to uh, Pest 5. So I guess I'll keep going. I want to try and get this full set to Pest 5. I think that'd be really cool to do for the video. So uh, I guess uh, back to work. Oh, wait, that's funny. I just got a Netherwart 42, which is my highest milestone by far. I got it from killing a literal uh, pest. That's really funny. Uh, just still working on this. Uh, only one pest book in the last like half an hour, which is kind of annoying, but not really much I can do about that. It's all up to luck. Please stop giving mutant nether wart, dude. Okay, if I open up beetle, uh, the mutant nether wart is rarer than pest books, yet I get about three times as much nether wart as pest books. It's kind of funny. Fly bestiary max as well. How did I get a pest book without using the vacuum? I'm not going to question it, but that's another pest beast here done. Absolutely awesome indeed. We will take that. Can I get another pest book by chance? No, doesn't look like it. One more chance. Come on. Now, nah. wait a minute. This is a YouTube clip moment. <laughs> I think we go for it. 
Music Rune 2, Music Rune 2, 45% chance for my first ever Music Rune 3 in Skyblock, man. Please, Skyblock, please. I've been trying to get this darn rune for, what, three years, right? Come on. You know what? Here we go. No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Not again. <laughs> uh, I guess I get to try again next year. Oh, no. Well, we pulled another pest book, so I guess we get to upgrade our chest plate to the uh, good old Pest Terminator 5, so... Let's do that real quick. Combine all these wonderful books. And this will be the second piece of Pest 5 that we have, which is absolutely awesome. Let's combine that, combine that, combine that with a chest plate, and there we go. Pest Terminator 5, looking awesome. An extra couple of Pest Chance. That's like six Pest Chance, I think, which is pretty sick. We'll take it. Oh, Bestiary 15 for Might. That's our third max bestiary for pests, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. Absolutely W right there. Well, we've got another, enough books for another upgrade here, so let's do it. This will be for our leggings, going to become a Pest Terminator 5. There we go. And that marks three-fourths of a set, so we only need eight more books to be completely done, man. I can't wait. And then we'll do a test to see how much money I can earn in exactly one hour of farming this stuff. Well, all right, we did it. We have eight books. We can finally max out our mushroom armor set, dude. I am so excited for this. It's taken several days to even get this armor set with Pest 5, so very glad it's done. Let's go ahead and make sure this is Pest 4, combine it with the boots, or Pest Terminator 5, and this is as much as we're going to be able to get. The only way I get really more Pest Chance now is with uh, just Pest Bestiary, but that'll complete itself over time. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is just see how much money I can get from just farming this cane, killing flies, to see if I can get the uh, tightly tied hay bale drops. And I don't know, just see how much we make. I've heard good things about this for money making. I guess we'll see uh, if it works. So I don't know, I guess let me get set up here and we'll start. All right, I'm all prepped for my one hour test. I have cleaned out my inventory of sugar, enchanted sugar cane, as well as mushrooms. And I need to sell these as well. Don't let me forget these just to get as accurate of a test as possible. Uh, also, I'm not going to be selling any of the ferment. Actually, you know, I will sell the fermenter I get, because why not? I want to see how much money this makes, but I'm not going to sell any of the other pest loot. Uh, oh, I need to take the tightly tides as well as, oh boy. Wait a minute. Shout out to uh, quick crafting here. There we go. Let's make sure we have all of the hay bales out of our inventory as well, because it's really important to actually save these. So we're just going to put this in this temporary chest I have now, and I'll just sell all of the wheat uh, hay bales, sugar, and sugar cane I get, as well as fermentos. Uh, and I guess we'll see how much I can earn in one hour. So I gotta, like, properly laser focus in here. So we're just gonna go for the one hour, and I'll see you guys when I'm ready to see how much we made. And that'll do it. That's one hour of farming. Let's go ahead and grab the last of the pests here. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get a single tightly tied hay bale. These things are rare, and I was misled on how common they were. But I guess we'll see. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll get two right now. Uh, no, it looks like I'm not I'm not going to get any, uh, which is unfortunate. But that also means that this is basically the lowest my rates can be farming. So I guess that's at least, you know, somewhat useful information to have, you know. Uh, only one Fermento in a whole hour as well, by the way, which is... That one was a little bit absurd. I, I can't believe it took a whole, a whole hour for one fermento, but you know what? Uh, whatever, I guess. Let's see. Let's go ahead and sell all of our crops. Let's sell our mushrooms first. And wow, that's a lot of cane. Okay. Let's sell these. We can sell all of the wheat as well. I guess we'll just make these into tightly tides to sell easier. There we go. Sell all of this. And then recipe cane. And let's make all of this into that. There we go. 71 cane in an hour is pretty good, though. So we'll do that. Oh, I had exactly enough cane for... Huh. Make sure we grab all of that. And I guess we'll sell this and this. And we made 17.1 million coins. Yeah, that's not great. That's actually lower than I thought I was going to get doing this. I did get zero tightly tides. I'm guessing the average isn't much better than one, though. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, I mean, this is a... 
kind of similar to what I would make mining. Uh, I, I imagine if I got one tightly tied, I'd be at 18.2 mil, which was pretty much exactly what I usually get mining. So there's that. But yeah, uh, I'm just trying to like double check. I didn't miss anything, right? We got brown mushrooms, enchanted mushroom blocks, these two. I got one mutant nether wart, so like I guess I can sell this, but that's not going to matter very much, you know. And all of the canes gone, yeah. I got all of that's gone. I, okay. And the flies don't drop like seeds or anything, right? No, they they don't. Uh, I do know that I could switch my vacuum from buzzing to the uh, the other reforge that gives slightly more crop things. You're actually supposed to have two whole vacuums, one for buzzing to one shot uh, worms and the other one for the uh, the reforge to give you more base plants. But I don't think that improves how much I would get by more than about 10% of the wheat, which uh, if we search the hay bales here, that was... That wouldn't get me more than like roughly 800k, maybe 900k an hour. So like, yeah, this isn't, I don't know, mixed feelings about that. But I guess there's my one hour test of getting zero tightly tides. All right. I was told that you basically have to have BD on your vacuum to get good rates. And I got very unlucky with fermentos and tightly tied hay bales. So we're going to do one more hour test. Usually I wouldn't do this, but I just want to make sure that uh, our rates are correct. So... Gonna push through for one more hour here of sugarcane farming. See if we can get better than about 17 point whatever mill we had earlier. And I don't know, I guess I'll focus up here and we'll see what I can do. Bro, what is this? My literal first like two pests. I'm getting two tightly tides and a golden carrot. What? Okay. Well, this hour is certainly gonna be something else. I'll tell you that. Okay, another hour is up. This one definitely had better luck. Uh, oh, I should probably grab the pests real quick before my fortune runs out. Where are all the pests? Where? There they are. All right, come here. Come here. Before my fortune runs out, please. We're just going to grab the flies right now, just in case. Come here. And okay, I think we got them in time. That's good. And let's see if I made a more. Hopefully I made at least 20 mil. I would say that's probably my goal. Uh, so yeah, let's see here. Uh, recipe cane. Whoops. First, let's convert all of this into that recipe. Hey, let's convert all of these into tightly tides. Uh, so we made seven tightly tides right there. So uh, let's remember that we had seven of those. Let's sell all of this. Don't need any of this. Okay, so we had seven tightly tides. I'm pretty sure I got three. Oh, no. Wait, what? Five? I really got five tightly tides. Oh, I guess I did. I got three during the... Um, no, I didn't get three during the contest. I don't know. Well... We have 12 for some reason, so I guess we'll uh, we'll take that. A nine mutant nether wart this hour, which is kind of crazy. We'll take the rest of this. We'll take the mushrooms, and I think that's everything I need to sell. Yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, oh, I guess in the 109 enchanted hay bales. Uh, we'll take that, and I guess we'll sell all of this. Yep. There we go. Sell, sell everything. And 23 mil. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm quite surprised at that. I swear I didn't. I only got three tightly tied, but I must be uh, misremembering. Yeah, I guess I am. So 23 mil, that's, you know, that's better than what I get mining like sweating ruby. So, you know, maybe this isn't too bad after all. Uh, I guess having the uh, BD vacuum definitely did help. I mean, I also just had better luck at the very start. I instantly pulled two tightly tied. So, you know, that probably helps a little bit, but... You know, it's maybe averaging 23 mil and 17 point whatever mil. 20 mil, maybe. That's probably what I'm at right now. Of course, I'm missing, you know, several hundred fortune. I could probably get like 400 plus more fortune. Uh, my cane hoe is not cultivating 10 yet. It's not a 100 mil counter. So definitely a lot of upgrades we can do. I've heard that this gets upwards of 30 mil with like maxed gear. And when uh, Finnegan's Mayor, that gets even better with the pest cooldown stuff. So I don't know. I guess uh, we'll have to see for that. I can't really do test that right now because... Uh, we have Derpy coming up, so it's going to be a while before Finnegan. But next time Finnegan's mayor, I'm definitely going to take a look at this and see if this is any good for money. But I guess right now it's, you know, for basically the same setup compared to mining, like the same amount of time investing in gear and all that stuff. Uh, it makes more or less the same for, uh, I would say this takes more effort than mining because like every two minutes you got to stop and get all the pests and stuff. And sometimes they spawn over here and you get the earthworms that get all weird, but whatever, you know, what? it's fine. Now, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. I may start using this for money. It seems pretty decent. Yeah. I do think that our perfect drill is done. Yep, it is. That's awesome. Oh, server's frozen as usual. All right. 
I guess I'll start more refined titanium while I'm just waiting for other things to happen. I need a lot more mithril for like more skeleton keys in the future, but I don't have any right now. So, uh, oh well. But look at this thing, man. 100,000 fuel is going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, let's talk to you. That's right. Uh, that's not right. There we go. There we go, dude. Look at that. 100,000 fuel is absolutely insane. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. But uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for that thing. Oh, I guess I have a bunch of Pest Terminator books. I could probably start working on upgrading my Fermento armor to Pest Hive as well. Uh, it looks like I can only do one. So I guess we'll just start with the uh, the boots here, the rancher boots. Get these two Pest 4. Yep, yep. Just some free fortune. We don't really care about that for the uh, Pest Chance. It's just for the uh, one farming fortune, you know? Yep, yep. So yeah, there we go. You know what? Let's do one more thing today. I've been waiting a while on my ice minions to make the Yeti sword, but Derby's in like two days, which means I'm going to need to run Inferno minions. So I think we're just going to go ahead. Jerry's active right now. It's the last chance I'll have to do this. It's a good time. I got nothing to do today. Let's just mine the last, I think, 80 enchanted packed ice I need for the Yeti sword and make it just so it's done. I think this is the final recipe in the game I need that involves mining ice or just getting ice in general, which is absolutely amazing because, well, I don't like mining ice. So uh, even though it's going to be a little bit quicker to do this after the uh, whenever those mining balance changes come out, uh, I'm just going to do it now because it's going to take like an hour and a half, maybe two hours at most to do this. So let's just get it done real quick and uh, we'll probably call that there. And there we go. Just like that, we should have six stacks of not glacite, enchanted packed ice. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Perfect. Now I need to go find my Yeti sword or my hilt, true ice hilt. I, I forgot. Oh, there it is. Hey, me being responsible, putting it in a chest, I actually remember. And what else do I need? I need iron blocks, right? Yeah, 32 iron blocks. So let's recipe iron and make some iron blocks here. Uh, we need 30, not 34, 32. Boom, there we go. Uh, that was most of our iron, actually, unfortunately. I've been having the iron for a long time, but it's almost out. But, uh, of course, I'm going to craft it like this because I like crafting key items like that in the actual menu. And there we go, the Yeti sword. Look at that thing. This is one of the most annoying swords to get in Skyblock, actually. Of requiring a rare drop from Yetis, a ton amount of ice, and a ton amount of iron. And it's an item I put off getting for many, many months, even years, actually. But at long last, let's go ahead and chuck that in our museum. There we go. And claim some museum XP, which means we only need four more yet again items to max out our museum. Very, very exciting indeed. All right. But anyways, that's going to be this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. I got to get ready for Derpy, which is starting in about 12 hours from recording this clip. So I got to wrap things up here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button. And of course, use code TOAD on the Hypixel store for 5% off whenever you buy anything at all. It does really support the channel a massive, massive amount. And thank you to everyone that's used my creator code in the past. And if anyone's going to now, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Anyways, I, I got to set up some Inferno minions and for the next video. Yep, yep. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Why did I say yup, yup? That was... Bye.